going on guys? My name is Ethan York and today we got a video that I should have done three weeks ago, but I didn't. Today I got a special guest with me behind the camera, so I actually know what I'm doing this time. His name's Robert. Say hi, Robert. Hey. Today we got to talk about the fishes, once again, and the lack thereof at our school. And today we have a special guest to talk about the lack of fishes. So, let's get game with it. Sit next to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like lean right here or something. Oh, you can do that here. I'll sit on the side. Okay, yeah, we'll do the kind of little weird thing. Alright. Alright, so the topic of the day is the lack of fishes at our school. Wh why? It's not, it's not that there's not that many girls there, you know. It's that they're not as many pretty. There's just, like, no offense to the girls out there. I mean, you guys, some of you are pretty. But there's girls there. It's like my old school, because I'm new to the school we go to. And my old school had a lot of good looking girls there. I'm talking like, you know the girl in our math class? Uh -huh. Girls like her and hotter. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But they were like, they were like, they had that kind of body. Some of them did, but like they weren't all like that. They were kind of thinner, you know. Yeah. But still, this, yeah. so our school has a lack of fishes. Now it's even harder with the lack of fishes to deal with all the fishes that try to friend zone you and that don't want the penis. And it's difficult to try to find that one fish that's kind of okay. Like, she's not completely in the dumpster, like I've said before, but she's not, you know, out of it strutting like a model and I don't get put in friend zone. <laughs> I don't let myself do that. <laughs> I do it all the time. I just walk up to fishes and they're just like, yeah, five weird. feet tall, friend zone. Just bam. We're like the same height, too. But yeah, you, I'm barely taller than you, that's the thing. I mean, I'm pretty short. Well, you, you got but, this, like, like I don't know, you got, like, the hair comb over, like, you got, like, this gangster swag. I don't know why. You got, like, the, the gold chain and the combed over hair. Gangsters, like you, mafia. You legitimately look like you've been pulled out of Goodfellas if you've ever seen that movie. Yeah, I've seen that movie. Yeah, it's Come a, on, who hasn't? If you haven't, you need to watch that. That's movie. a good movie. I know. <laughs> but you, you just got this kind of like swag to you that just like attracts yeah, the it, fishes. It's just, it's just at school I've been doing my hair much because I've just been wearing my hat. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's, 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 it's too early. It's like hat. I wake up, I'm like, oh. This yeah, I, I used to be able to do that, but what happens is, is like, I'll comb my hair, and then I will freaking, like, I'll get in the shower, and I'll do all that stuff, and then... You get like, in the shower, you're like messing with the soap and stuff, you look in the mirror, you're like, yeah, yeah. that's good. No, dude, but what happened, well, I'll put my shirt on, I'll be like, alright, looking fresh, and then I'll put on my jacket, and it will somehow just, like, turn my hair yeah, into that's this, like, tumbleweed too. mess. Because it's, it's too cold. Like, yeah. I, I do my hair, and then I put my polo on, because my polo, it, like, yeah. opens up, and then I put it on, and... It doesn't ruin my hair, but when I go to put my sweater on, it's just like a big deal, and the hole's not as big as the polo hole, yeah. and I don't have semi big head. You uh, you do the do you shower in the morning or shower at night or both? I shower at night. Yeah, I prefer, I for sure to shower in the morning, but then again, I don't know because if you it's shower, it's too cold because my house is cold as hell. So. Dude, I love it when it's cold, but I, I like the cold. It's just it's too cold. Like, I feel like me. if I showered at night, it'd probably be better because I can get like 15 minutes extra, extra sleep. I wake up at 7.15, have my clothes there, and then out the door. I can yeah, probably wake up at like 7.20. At night. I, I don't, I live far, as you know. Well, yeah, you I, live I like half wake, an hour. I have to leave at 7, actually. Yeah. I have to leave at 7, my house at 7. Yeah, I feel Anyway, good. back to the girls. We, back we back to the fishes. Topic. So, um, there are a couple fishes, and it's weird because for the, the lack of fishes at our school, there's like at least 25% of them in one math class. Yeah. There's like, there's... Not 25, we'll see. Well, let's yeah, see. Maybe. I'm trying to I think. I don't know, I can't do the statistics or math or whatever. Well, but we have neither a couple of baddies can, in our class. Yeah. Well, let's, we got like one, two, three, four for you. We got like four out of, like what, maybe like nine or ten? Let me think. And then, we have one that starts with a D, one that starts with an R, one that starts with a K. Don't do that, you me. <laughs> okay. So R, M. Yeah, we have about four or five. Yeah, four or five in that class. And then you got the one in biology. Two biology. We, we have three in biology. Who's the third? Glasses. Uh, blonde. Oh, and the one I was talking about, too. Yeah, the yeah. one that has, has a boyfriend. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. yeah. You're out there and you have a boyfriend. Stop it. It's bad. It's bad. Unless you're dating me. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, him. me. Because then it's... <laughs> okay, let, separate anyway. topic. Let's, let's kind of sprout out from this. So, I got a question for you. How do you know when you're, like, in a relationship? Like, because, like, back in, like, middle school, you'd, like, ask a girl out and you'd never do anything. What happens when you, like, actually go on a date, but you don't, like, ask her to be your boyfriend? You're, you're talking still? Quote, unquote, talking? Yeah, talking. And then when you finally ask her out, you're just like, okay. Yeah. You still have to ask her out. You can't just be like, hey, I, I we're guess dating, so. even though we never, we never asked you out. Yeah, well, and girls are expecting that guys yeah. to ask her out in like some way, like. Uh, I they guess that means I got Starbucks or something. Yeah. Well, no. Well, well, I mean, the girls that are so the white girls, you know. Well, I mean, I didn't. I'm not going out with a girl who's going to my school. I'll, I'll just say going out for the sake of, just not explaining things. That girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, with blonde hair. <laughs> oh. You like blondes? 
I do like blondes. And I'm not racist, but I don't like blondes or really much. You're white full. Girls. You're full of crap. And you're I mean, oh yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's two blonde girls. Yeah, I know, I know. for a fact. But maybe. like, yeah. But I wouldn't ever like really date really. I just do some things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> But still. Yeah. No, but I, I don't really judge it on hair color. I mean... I don't judge on hair color either. I just... I guess not. I don't care about the skin. Yeah, I do. I do. Like, I'm not scared. racist. I, I'm just, not racist either. I just don't think I date a dirt. I have dated... <laughs> I have dated a black girl twice, I would, I would date a light-skinned girl. I've light dated, skin I've girl, dated a... Girl. Like, like black is my TV girl twice. Oh, yeah. My ex-girlfriend. I hope she don't see this. She's dark. She's mad skin. She's dark. She's a dark, dark girl. She like a uh, one chick She's dark. Like, one chick always sits at her table dark. Always calls herself brown. Um. She like that, that dark, dark or dark? That dark. Okay, that or dark. Or maybe even a little well, bit. Well, I can deal with she that. She plays though. softball. She okay. plays softball, so she's like, I like softball. I don't know what it is. You, you, just, I think I still think you should go after her. Who? The one? The dark one? The dark one, yeah. No, thank you. Well, okay, I'll go after her instead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm down. Um, I I still don't know how you feel about uh other chick with uh other chick with the same name but doesn't have glasses was in our uh, sits in front of what's her tits in uh history class, in the front row. Feel me? Starts with an. Uh, oh. Yeah. Her. Yeah. 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 I feel you. I, I feel would. You. I would. Yeah. But it's kind of. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think if you, like, if, if she liked you, like, if you were black, she's got mad jungle fever, that, she, yeah. She'd stay in the sun for a little bit longer, she'd probably like me. <laughs> but I, that's all I think of. Dude, I bet she would like, like, at least 75% of the people in my neighborhood. Like, have you seen the people in my neighborhood? I actually haven't. They are, no, I don't pay attention. They are, they're scary black, dude. They're black? I thought it was a white neighborhood. Yeah, nine houses. <laughs> <There, laughs> there's, there's a white, there's a white family next to me, <clears throat> and then there's this really fat, like nine year old who lives like way down there. Terry. <laughs> and, <Ooh. laughs> and then um that's pretty much the only white people in my neighborhood. Big dude comes over here a lot, eats all my food. No I like him. No like him? I mean I got to, I told you how I felt about him I, when we were I, talking. I, yeah. I mean, he's kinda cool. At times he he can be cool at times. It's just there's like this line it's like yeah. he's cool, but then he just flips over to yeah. being a little punk. Some, sometimes and I'm just like, I wanna hit you. Yeah. I'm not a very violent person, but I'd hit him if it came down to it. I mean, you are out of Goodfellas, so you are pretty violent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, I've never I killed mean, anyone. <laughs> yet. Um, yet. I mean, you are... I think he's a pretty cool dude for the most part. I mean, he came over like every day this week because his parents were being stupid or something. Yeah, that sucks. I feel, I feel bad for that. Yeah. But still, yeah. I don't like him he's that much. He's kind of a douchebag. Yeah. Sometimes he's a douchebag. Sometimes he's a douchebag. Sometimes Big douchebag. Sometimes he's just annoying. Like, dude... I hate how he picks on me in biology class. When, like, so here's the story. He tries to like, be mean to me, and I'm like, mm mm. You know. So basically, there's this pool game that uh, I get on my iPad. It's eight pool. And me and him will be playing it, and he'll pick me to read so that I automatically lose the game. We do popcorn reading. Yeah, we do a popcorn out of reading. Our book. So on he'll iPad. pick me, or he'll tell people to pick me so that I have to leave the game so he wins. And it's gay because he always picks. The most expensive one when he knows he gets he gets somebody to pick me, <laughs> and I've only done it once and he got super mad. Every time he does it, I start laughing in the middle of. Uh, I always pick him though too. Yeah. I try picking him. I see you guys playing. I'm just like I'm reading. I'm the only one paying attention really. Yeah. And I see you guys playing. I'm just like. Mm. When you can see Phil, Phil you oh, can see Phyllis right. getting mad at me too. Like she's sitting up in there in front of the class. Like <laughs> she just stares at you. She's always staring at me, dude. If I didn't know any better, she wants the penis, but she. I hope not. Goddamn no. God, that's just. Well, I, I think we nailed this. I think we nailed this video. Yeah.